And look at the lower side as well. If the wants to kill this, then they will like push, try to kill. Okay. And the lower side, okay, if the wants to kill, black like Atardis. Okay. These are the, the naive ways to try to kill the group. So when this kind of situation comes, when black like, tries to save or kill, uh, black plays this naive move first. Okay, okay Atari, so maybe I can capture this one stone and save. Then you can immediately check opponent's uh, reaction. If black plays here, where would white go? White can play d19. Then even if black captures here, white can connect, and this a turns as the four side, so it is dead. Therefore, now, OK, black thinks, that, OK, that is not working. So if that doesn't work, then what else should black think? And then people check other options. Maybe this Atari I had to, or maybe I had to block some other options like that. So here as well, black tries to kill in the easiest way, a naive way, most naive way. And why the answer is that, OK, there's no way. Then where else should I go? Maybe I should play Hane, or maybe I should play this one. So can think other options. But when you have this kind of situation, that, OK, I play this, but oh, my opponent plays this, not working, then the next idea must be like this. Oh, I play the first move. My opponent plays a move and which blocks my way, then that is the right point. Okay. So this is the three step reading. The first, you think naively. Don't try to find the, the best move at the first time, but just naively follow your first idea that, okay, maybe I play this. And check your opponent response, because to find this move as a response is a lot easier than finding this move as the, the first move. Okay. Do check. If I play here, oh, my opponent can play this one to kill. That is the second step. And then the third step is to take that spot in advance. That is the way how you can solve many cases in this game of golf. Not even only in life and the situation, but uh, in many cases, like opening, middle game, any cases. So here as well, black push, push in and white connects to blow the call, because there could be a call. But why connect? So there is no way. Therefore, what should be the right idea for black now? Then not other moves, but okay, here, here, therefore this, like that. Okay. If that throws in, white can capture only. If I capture this, then black can block, so it is called. Okay. Because black took that space where black wanted to do, uh, wanted to take. So I need to capture and then Atari. Why can I connect? Because it is uh, Patari. So I need to capture and capture, so there will be a call. Okay. So the bottom as well, if black push, why gonna connect to make two eyes? Therefore, black need to play this one. Okay. Then when Y captures this, black and Atari now capture here. So this turns as the four size, so it is that. And on the other, the last problem, if black Atari is, why gonna block? Therefore, we need to play this one. To play this, then it is the dead form. So I need to connect and black cut. So this turns itself at Atari. So I can kill this group. So this problem must be easy. Uh -huh. So let me uh, level up. Mm -hmm. Now you can raise your hand to solve the problem. Okay. If you are black, all the problems you should play as black. Okay. So who want to try? First, maybe A, we should go with it. You need to follow this, you know, concept, which I call the three-step reading. That you first think naively and check opponent response and then take that spot uh, as you are moving. Mm. Uh, anyone okay. who okay. has the answer, please raise your hand. Uh-huh. Like uh hmm. Could could do. Okay. So please go ahead. You wanna have uh, a you can maybe speak, right? Yes, yeah, Samuel. Can you can you speak? Uh my first uh intuition is to play A eighteen. No, A eighteen, okay. White blocks. And I connect. Connect here. Because if I play here, you want to play? 
uh, Atari. Mm, Atari to Q, right? So I also can think in this way. Uh, if I play here, I'm going to play this. So what about me playing here? So then I play a 19. Oh, then oh, I can say it. Oh. oh. <laughs> so your first idea was right. If I play here, for okay. instance, you're white. If black plays here, where would you play? Because this must be the naive idea. Like, oh, okay, I want to kill, so I rage the face. But can you like If I go down, black connects, and that white group is dead, right? So instead, uh, if I play a sixteen, then it's go, right? Mm -hmm. Capture Atari, but black and connect. Oh yeah, no, but then oh okay, sorry. Oh, <laughs> like this. So okay, the good idea here is this one. I can play here. So when black connects, I can save it. If black steps in, then we can throw in to do the call. So black thinks that black can kill, but we can play here to make this as call, to look for AB as Mihai. Is this Japanese term you guys understand, like Mihai? Yes. 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 Uh, okay. Or Juzeki, you know, Hane, you know. <laughs> okay. If you do, then I would, I would go in this way. Okay. Anyway, therefore, instead of this one, because why gonna take this, black should play here. But I suppose, uh, Kundu, you did not um, take that step. You just found this with your first intuition, okay? yes. which means that you have a good intuition to detect this move. Okay? But after this one, you also had to think in this way. OK, if I connect, my opponent plays here, I will, I will kill. Oh, but if I can kill like this, then what if my opponent plays this? Oh, my opponent can save. So OK, now what should Black do? So when you face this problem, I, if I connect, my opponent plays here. So instead of this one, I should maybe play this. Maybe I should play this. Maybe I should play this. You should, you can, you have more options, right? But instead of checking other options like this, like this, like this, like this, don't check those options, but just check one thing. If I connect, what was voice move? This one. Okay. So what about me taking that in advance? Okay. This kind of idea, if you think, uh, say, uh, you know, automatically, then you can find uh, good moves. Okay. So anyway, so black can play here. Why can I throw in? Right. So I can only Atari. Then you can Atari, capture here, then it is dead. So there are two holes. Uh, first hole is this one. So black need to find this. And second hole is this one. So black need to find this. Okay. Mm -hmm. You see that this problem is more difficult than the, the first four problems. So who, who want to go for B? Don't try to find a solution with your first intuition, but follow the simplest move, naive idea. Okay. If you're a first Q, if you're a three Q, then don't try to find your three Q ideas, but just, okay, I'm 15Q, I'm 20Q, you should think in this way, and collect uh, opponent's responses and then get the, the answer. Capturing the throne would be the first idea. Uh -huh. yes. Do you want to do that? Okay. So who, who wants to do so? Again, <laughs> So where, capturing where the spawn is my first idea as well. Yes, but we'll be blocked, therefore. Okay. Your first, first idea is? Capture if white blocks, then it becomes box four. Uh -huh. oh, no, 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 sorry, it doesn't. But it, but it has uh, one eye here at the R17, so this could be safe. I mean, there is a... Uh, so maybe I should ask that whether there is someone who can just solve it right away, like just uh, show me the sequence.
Anyone? Mm-hmm. I think the first move needs to be R18, right? Because of that. Okay, R18. Uh-huh. Okay, Y connects. Then, then the uh, the Atari S19. Mm-hmm. Connect. And then you connected S18. No, no, you mm-hmm. have to play at T18. Sorry. Yes. So but that's otherwise it's Seki, uh-huh. correct. Yeah, if play connects, well, I can play here to make this a Seki, which means Y is alive. There are four playing it to attach. Correct. The same, same spot. Yeah. Oh, Y plays T18, so I play T18 at this. So this Atari as well. What if Black doesn't Atari? Then Y can push. So even if Black plays here, it is Seki, right? There are four blending to play this one, okay. like this. Capture block, not working, so here. After connection, go out, push, not working, so black should blow. Connect. Black connects, white plays, not working, so black should attach. Okay. So you can track on this uh, one by one. Okay. That is the, the idea behind the lots of life and death problems. The, the problem C is uh, easier. So anyone? Raise your hand. <laughs> there is a, yeah. Oh, okay. So P3 yeah. would be the first instinct. P, sorry? P3. E10, sorry? P3. P3, ah, you mean you, you solved the, the problem uh, D. Or problem C. Right? Problem C, okay. P3, right, P3. this one, yes. Then where would Y go? Y would play T2. Yes. Uh-huh. So black is dead, right? Therefore, where should black go? The black should go on T2. Yes, T2. So when Y connects? S1. Yes, like that. Right. If Y comes, then black can take it. Because black already protect the, the important spot here. Yeah. So this is the way how we can solve the life and this. And here, this one. Therefore, I apply this. Okay. So you can just first check. I mean, when you check, okay, uh, if I play here, my opponent can play this T2 and then that. So, okay, let's find this way. Let's find this way. Let's find this way. There are many other options you can check. But instead of checking other options, you don't need to spend your time or energy. Just, ah, because of this, nothing is working. So let me take that like this. And in the most of cases, it is working. So problem B is most difficult among that four. Okay. It will be difficult to find the solution with the first intuition. You need to follow that you know, track, uh, follow on that you know, three step reading track. So what's to do? Whoever well, wants to try it, please raise your hand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kundu, again, good. <laughs> my, my first intuition is to play B2. Ah, your first intuition is this. Okay. Yes. What if I cut? And then C1. C1. Okay, Y blocks. Then I connect at B1. Uh-huh, capture. Uh, then Atari. Uh, connect. No, is it? So did you follow that reading, three-step reading? Or I, I just, just followed, followed the intuition. Ah, OK, no. no. We are not doing, you know, the solving, you know, by intuition. We are tr- practicing that okay. concept, you know, three-step concept. So that's why you need to step over the easiest move. OK? That is how we do okay, today. OK? So step over. Like the easiest one, like when you face this and you, how, how strong are you? May I ask your level? I'm uh, around 1Q. Oh, you're around 1Q, okay. You're 1Q, uh, but believe that you're 20Q, okay? Just try to remember when you were 20Q, okay? That you don't know, you barely know about this game. Uh, then when you face this as a 20Q, where would you play as black? You think? C2. C2, yes, because it's like natural, most natural, right? But why gonna blow and here, why they say, right? You don't like it. Therefore, 
if I play here, my opponent plays this. Therefore, you should play this one. Okay. So first idea is right. And when will I cut? What's your 20Q idea? If you're 20Q, you would have? B4. B4? You're too aggressive 20Q then. <laughs> because, you know, your stone is being atali. So, oh, my stone is being atali. As a 20Q, you notice that, oh, my stone is in danger. Then you're going to connect with this. No, because cut then we're going to capture, so it's not really working. So you should connect, okay. So if you connect, what would white play, you think? Atari. Atari at? B1. A... Like it could be either at A2 or B1. No, A2 yes. does not work, right? Uh, A2 isn't working, black can go down. So I need to play this Atari. So even if black goes down, white blocks, uh, try something, but nothing is working. White is safe. Is it? Yeah. White is safe. So this is the clue. Okay? If you are first Q, then this is the, the resources that you can get it when you face this problem. You just quickly check why it is not working. PR, not working. PR, connect, Atari, not working. Okay? This is what you can get. Is it? So it's like a evidence, you know, the detective comes to this crime scene and then detective checks, okay, is there any evidence that I can collect it, you know, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. So these are ev evidence that you, you collect. Okay. So is there anyone who found uh, the way? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Go ahead. I think before. B before? Yes. This one, or oh, Atari. Okay, that's all. I I don't have anything. Okay. I ah, didn't okay. think. I mean, you know, so what, what makes you think of this? Because we are following this, you know, concept, three-step concept, is it? Okay, now... I, I thought he would go with B5 after that. B5? Ah, you thought that we're going to play B5. Right. Uh, but still, I we can say... Yes. Okay. So now, uh, cha 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 is what? Is it? Sata. Yes. Uh huh. So you want to do? Uh, you uh, raise the, your hand. No? Yeah, the sequence I am seeing is uh, black plays B two. Uh huh. White cut. Then now black will have to play B one. Exactly. That's it. Yeah. No. Simple. If black connects, where would the white go? What would the top? Nothing is working. So let me to go down. Oh, is that a good move? Let me take it. Okay. So after that, if I try to block them, they can take, right? So I can only capture. But if I capture, they connect underneath. Yeah. So this is the full side. Black is connected. And why is that? Right? Go is simple. The, the lecture. The, the name of this lecture is Make Go Easier. I came here to make your go easier. Okay. So this is the way. So here, look at the, the C problem. Oh, how to solve the problem. Okay, this. If you can find this move with your first intuition, it means that this problem is not your level. But let's say this problem level is 3Q and you are 10Q. You try to find a solution. Then you cannot find this move by your first idea. If you can find this by first idea, then you're already stronger than uh, this level problem. But anyway, so that's why you should check the most naive option. Naive, not working. Okay, so what about that then? Uh, but here also, here, oh, not working. So how net, but cut, connect, mm, not working. So what about this? Like this, if you track on this, then you can jump over uh, the level of problems. So you can solve many problems like that. Uh, Prana, you have a question? Yes. Yes. So this uh, three-step approach, right? Does it always work, or is yes. it for like uh, certain unique cases or certain situations only? Only in certain situations, you think that it's working. Is that what you mean? He he's asking, does it work only in certain situations or every time? Not every, of course, not every, but. Quite a lot of. So when I face like um, 
100 life and death problems, then at least one, uh, you know, about 50% of problems, I can find at least one of this kind of ideas. I mean, not the whole sequence like that, but in many cases, I will, I will show you. So for instance, like here, look at this case. This is not the life and death situation, right? Black wants to do something. Uh, so black cut this one. If I take this, then black wants to take this one stone. Good, right? So you don't like it, therefore why connect it? If I connect, how should black handle this? It would be great if black can capture these white two stones, but there's no way. Even if black push, you know, well, I can just extend forever. So it's not really a good idea to push on the, the first, second line. And this one is right. If black just push, then white can easily collect lots of points, right? So in this case, how would you solve your problem? By black and they are 13 first. Yes. If I push my opponent extend, if I push my opponent extend, so oh, what if I take this? And it's the idea that you can get it. If I goes out, then black now goes up to the third line. So that is quite nice compared to this push and crawl all the second lines. So after a patch, what if I goes down and black blocks? So you don't need to push your opponent's back to give points, but you can block it like this. Your opponent now in the second level, second line, not the third line. So there are many cases like that here as well. So now you face this case as black, black to play. You see that black that six stones has uh, only one eye. How would you solve this case? Easy. There is an easy solution. You can just push, push, extend, push, extend. You're safe, right? But you don't like it because you need to crawl the second line. Then you would play. The nose are nine. Yes, the same, same idea. If I goes down, black can cut. So I cannot go, then black can make this nice position like this. There are many, oh, there are many. So look at this upper side case that black's four stone is in trouble, right? How would you solve this case? Do you think that black can save or get enough points from other areas? So in this case, you should think the most naive option. So what's the most naive option for black to save this group? I mean, maybe some of you still believe that black can save it. To me, black most naive option you know, must be Hane and maybe try to save, isn't it? Everybody agree with that? <laughs> yeah. Then why place Hane in connection so it's a dead form? You cannot, cannot save. Okay, uh, black, this one is quite the same. Black tries this or here, white just place this and it is dead. So you guess where black should play. The good idea here is this. Hane block. Well, okay, I cannot save. So oh, what about this? It's strange. Strange move. But of course, if black connects this, then it's great. Black can save. Right, so I need to cut. Then, oh, there is a way that black can separate it. Okay. So black can take that four stones in the corner. Right. Okay. So that is uh -huh. all the all this kind of stuff are connected to this uh, three-step reading. Okay. So not everything, of course, but quite many of them are connected to this. So if you master this and I'm sure that you would have a you know, chance to use it in your games. Okay, so this one, uh, these are you know, higher, highest level problems among mm -hmm, the one that I showed. So let's start from B, because B is the easiest one. This problem, I would say it is like the first Q level, uh, one Q level problem. But maybe some of you, you know, so like 10Q, 7Q can find this if you track on this. 
a three-step reading. So let me ask, there, there was a, uh, Sharifa, you said that there was a 9Q, one 9Q player? Yeah. Uh, Akshay Pranay, yeah, Akshay. Ah, okay, so you're, you're the one. So maybe I can ask you directly. Uh -huh. So, so my instinct is uh, S18. Yes. Then where would I go? Uh, probably R18. R18. Then black can capture to save it, uh, to kid it. So white would try Y's best. Right. So what's the best as white to endure this case after being caught? Why to the F19? Yes, why we play this one, right? So there will be a call, mm. right? So this is the call. Yes. So you can go with this call. But if you don't like it because, oh, it's too simple, maybe there is a chance that I could kill. Then what's your second idea now? So following your method, then black should play S19. Exactly. Okay. Then white says that, oh, you give me the one star, I connect. And then... Yes. And What's your naive idea now? Q18. Ah, Q18. Because this must be the naive idea. But why can connect? Nothing is working. So you cut. Why connects? And then? And then? The naive idea must be this one. But mm. why captures? Nothing is working. So, so you need to play this. Q17, yeah. Um, capture. I thought it connect, not working, so you need to play this, then it is that, right, like this. So, like that, here, here, well, not working, working, but okay, only half works. So, I, you know, let's check this, connect, oh, here, connect, oh, not working, so let's check this, connect, oh, not working, so let's check this, oh, oh not working, so let's check this, like that, okay, so, step by step, so, can solve this problem. Right. Uh, problem C, A is the most difficult, in fact. So we should go on B, C, D, and then come back to A, the C. C, black to save, so easy, right? Who, who, who cannot? <laughs> you may think like that. Who cannot save this, right? Anyone uh, wants to save this as black? Black will do S4. S4, yes. Black will do S4. Is it alive already? Or is there anything what I can do? For instance, let me let me go. Uh, what if I play Hane? Lavat. Uh, okay. How would you answer? Probably S1. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, if I Atari, you're going to capture, oh, no. and then there's nothing I can do, right? Okay. So this is the problem that white has it. So as white, now you're white, okay? Hane, block, Atari, capture, nothing is working. What should white do then? What else should white do? Maybe a second. S1, right? This one. Because if I play Hane, my opponent blocks and nothing is working, right? So we should try this. If black blocks, then oh, it's cold. Right? So black should maybe step back. And Atari, capture, oh, I can kill. I did. So it's cold. After I touch, black need to block and then should do this call, which is quite risky for black. Right? Okay. So black can play here, but because of why it's this nice move, it is cold. So black can make cold, but is there a better way that black can save? Black plays the S1 first. Mm. Exactly. That's so weird shame, right? Who plays this? No one. But what if black plays? Then why cannot connect? Is it? There's no way to connect. Uh, you know, all that. Right. And any other moves white tries, then black can just attach to save it. The most difficult move is this one. White can try this and here and then go down like that. 
of Lacan Atari. So this one also, it is sexy. Yeah, it's a bit difficult, but anyway, the point is that the, the way, the only way for black to save is this one without the core condition. But how can you find this with your first intuition? Oh, my first intuition is this. Then it means that you already like, I don't know, like fall down, right? Then, okay, you can go. But you cannot find this, then how can you find this? What would be the theory to find this? Easy, simplest move. Like this looks like the most, you know, obvious option and check a uh, hanel can blow and nothing is working but what if i attack this because of this my opponent tries oh nothing is working so that's why like this okay you find the uh, evidence and then track up uh, track on it and then find the evidence and then track on it like this like rewind uh, rewind from the last uh, situation okay that is how we can solve the case so the law left the problem B also. You, you may think that, oh, it's so easy problem because black can just capture, is it? Black just captures then black is safe, right? Black has one eye and black gonna have the second eye in the bottom area, isn't it? So here's the thing, why, why to play? What is the, the, the most naive idea for why to kill this black screw? C1? C1, yes. It's like, you know, first intuition. Oh, maybe I can kill. But black on a block. Oh, then black has certainly, you know, the second eye here. So as why, where should I go? B1? Yeah, why should suspect? Ah, here, here. Okay, what about this? Then black says, oh, I can capture. Right? Then why not this? The simplest move, right? If black connects, why well, can play here? Okay. So this one is the same idea. Push, block, not working, therefore why should play this? Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So black need to capture on me, and then this is call. Right? The black thought that oh if I just capture, it's so easy black can save, but oh why can I attach to make the call? So you checked it, and now you're trying to find the solution as black. Where would you play? The solution is not block, not not blocking here or making this kind of fancy move. No. If black captures while attaches, therefore black need to play this one. Look for A and B as me are. Uh, she already black has an eye. Okay? There is only one good spot. Uh, not every time, but in the, in many most of the cases. There is only one good place, and you need to find that place before your opponent. But to find this move as black or to find this move as white, these are totally different. Yeah, same, same concept, same idea, but uh, the level of uh, this move is different. For instance, the, the second case, to find this move as white. Okay? So let's say this is the life and this problem. How to solve, how to kill this white group. Uh, how to kill this black screw, then this is the solution. What level problem is this? If I judge this, then I would say this problem is about uh, 9Q. I think 9Q player can find this easily, right? But this problem, this case, let me to find this move as the solution. Do you think that it is the 9Q problem? No. I think it is like 3Q problem, is it? But it's the same spot, same spot. But to find this as black is 3Q, but to find this move as white is 9Q. But you can make it to the same level if you track on this you know, uh, you know, way of thinking, the three-step reading. Right? So here, this one is in fact a difficult one too. But there are like here, this move, that attach. What's the level of this move? I think this one is about three Q, like first Q level uh, plot, level move, uh, like first uh, three Q level Tetsuji. Then what about this? Is it the three Q level Tetsuji? I think it is like four down level Tetsuji, right? So that's why. Uh, that's why you need to see the evidence, and that evidence can make the, the grade down, so you can find it uh, more easily. Okay, so A is the most difficult problem. Uh, 
this is about like five done. So it's quite a difficult one. So let me just explain. Uh, uh, the naive idea must be this. Uh, but after this one, uh, then can, can be like here. Black naive idea. So when, when this kind of question comes, don't try to find the fancy move at the beginning. Just check, okay, how to kill or capture. Is it? Isn't it? That is the first idea. Then where would one play for saving? A17. 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 What's the level of this move? If this is the life and death problem, okay, why to save? Then the level must be like 15 Q, like 15 Q problem, isn't it? Now it is Black's turn. How to kill as Black? Then what level is this? This is not the 15 Q problem anymore. Maybe it is like 3 Q problem. Can anyone find the move to kill? Same spot. Yeah, same spot, is it? A17. Dead. Right, but to find this move is more difficult than finding this one. Okay. So when you check, oh, capture, oh, not working. So maybe I should try this. Maybe I should try this. Maybe I should try this. You shouldn't think other moves, but just check, ah, oh, because of this, it is not, work, not working. So let me try this. Then you can cut other options very easily. You can find uh, the right move directly. Okay, so what if I block it, therefore? White blocks, then black must capture. Then white are TARDIS. Oh. Then connect, white can save. Okay. So black need to play here and white captures and it is called. Right? So this is called. So if I blocks, black cannot touch, so it is dead. White blocks, then it is called. So why should block? Right? So if I blocks it, is it called? Is there a way to kill or there's no, no other option to think? If black still play that A17? Exactly. Yeah. Because if black captures, why gonna play here? This capture looks like the obvious option. Of course, you know, Atari, I should capture like that. But then not working because of that. What does that mean? Because of that means that because of that spot, no matter what, it is like because of Atari, because of, you know, right shape, you shouldn't focus on that, you know, meaning of the move. You can just Think of that spot. Oh, that spot my opponent plays. So what if I take that spot? Then again, uh, why does that? So now why's turn after cut? Is there any way that we can save this group? Because we checked a couple of options then, you know, that are not working. Why should play the same spot? Yes, why should play here? If I place this, then it is called. Is it? Because capture, then one can save. Here, then one can block. So you can check again. Ah, oh, if I cut my opponent plays here, so I should attach. And no, but it's not working. So not all the time working, but you can easily find it. Oh, okay, my opponent plays this, so can I try this? And then you can easily notice that, oh, no, it's not at all. Right. So not all the time working like this, because, you know, you should be... Thankful with that. If it is that much easy, then you can always find this track and then solve all the problems. Then Go game will become much easier. And I'm pretty sure that you will lose your interest on this game. <laughs> so Go is not that easy. But there are some easy ways that you can find a solution. Okay. So that's why you, know, you need to, you know, how to say, keep you know checking these kind of problems. Then. I'm sure that you get used to it and find this. Okay. So even this kind of case you can find. And I brought some more cases. Uh, these are quite, you know, often placed shapes. Look at the upper side, upper right corner case. Uh, white has a weakness in white's area. Okay. Is there anyone who knows the uh, Tetsuji here? If you don't know this move, then you can 
track on easiest move? What, what's the easiest way that you just make an end game? Okay. End game? Yes. F18. Oh, R18, right? F8. What? Yeah, okay. Oh. S18, no, you can just go down as well, yes. Uh -huh. But like Hane and connection, it's like a normal way. But instead, you, you try to find something better. Then, oh, Hane, or oh, 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 what if I play this one? You can check. Then, oh, my ball cut. And then black can jump to look for A and B yeah, as me, I. So if I can take this, black can take this, then white has only one eye here. Okay. So the whole white group doesn't have two eyes. Okay. So this is the idea. So here as well. So this one, this one, this one, you know, these are all the same ideas like this. Okay. There are many. Uh -huh. Yeah, black tanuki. Look at these four stones. These four stones does look weak. Uh, how would you attack this black group? What's your first idea? Always, when you face this kind of situation, you should check your first intuition. The first the, intuition must the be... Cut. Uh, the cut. The cut. Very aggressive. Okay. Like on a party. Uh, it's too much. I mean, it's not working. Okay. So you D cannot 14. directly, you know, grab things. C14. C14, this one. Then black can push to bring the group out. So if black brings the good about, then you, you don't like it because you had nice potential. Okay. So Hane must be the first idea because then white can surround. Okay. And where, where would black play to save this group? Is there anyone who knows this you know, good form? B15? B15, is it? This is a nice form, is it? So black is completely safe, okay. Therefore, why should play B15? Take that spot first. So like that, track on this. Uh, here, okay, my answer is okay, what about taking this? So this is the idea behind. And that is the pattern, you know this pattern, right? When black comes closer, what's the good way for black to attack this group? If you want to attack, then you shouldn't just push to let white extend. Instead, you should play this one. Okay. So this is the same idea behind. Why the expander of four black should play this? So many. Mm -hmm. Okay. So anyway, that three-step reading, you need to have a practice because otherwise you would just try to find a solution immediately. But instead of finding the solution immediately, you should check, uh, okay, what's the easiest option? Try not working then you check of oh, why is it not working because of that move my opponent plays then you consider that move as your move then in many cases that would work okay uh -huh. so that is the first topic of this make go easier and there are some more ways uh look at those four life and death cases um do you think that these are difficult? Uh, for instance, let me ask uh, problem B. You're black. Uh, where would you play? What's, what's your first idea to kill this black group? S15 or S16? Okay, any other opinion? Q19. Q, Q19. Here, here, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, is there anyone who S18. think of this? Yes. S18? Mm -hmm. Or maybe someone like, you know, T18? Okay, let's skip this. Uh -huh. Look at this D, I find this problem, D, lower left corner, black to play. What's your first idea? B1. B1, this one, right, okay. C2. C2, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, 
Uh, mm -hmm. so, uh, when you see the, the life and death problems, you know, we solve some life and death problems. Uh, let me pass it and show like this. Okay? This is the life and death problems. Uh, look at the problem A. And uh, how should black kill this? If black can. <laughs> So you should think naively first. What's the most naive idea here? Naive. F17 question. Right. Then where would Y play? Would Y naively block and let you kill this? No, is it? What would play? Uh -huh. So black plays Hane, Y plays this. It's safe. Right? You push, you open extend, Y is safe. So where should black play? Black should e, play E18 because that is the good spot, is it? So I take that. Here then black cut. So I need to connect and black and Hane connect. So black is connected, you know, by cut. Anyway, so this is the right move. And uh, B, problem B, the right way to kill is Hane. Here. And then if you push, Y plays this one. So black should attach. Then that is, you know, double snapback, right? Famous chain, right? I can kill it. And she, the naive I, where would I play? Just the answer, right? That's why I need to play this one. And why connect it? Not kill this group. You guess. Black can just play S7, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it is that. Yeah. Uh -huh. What if I place this? Then it's a co. No, so it's not that. Co is like half alive. Mm -hmm. is it? Mm -hmm. So it is alive by, by co. So instead, what else should Black try? Ah, maybe Hane, right? Then what will blow? So when Black cut, capture, oh, it's still a call. It's a step call, but anyway, call. So if Black cut, why place this? If Black plays Hane, why place this? So where would you go? D5. Oh, is it? Because block then Black can cut. So even if black play, white plays here, yeah, it's dead. But okay. so this is also the three-step, you know, reading. You should find it. But anyway, um, I'm showing this because you see this is a fancy move, and this one fancy move. So people are getting used to these fancy moves. So when they face the life and this problem, they, uh, then they try to find fancy moves like this. Or this, or or this, but in many cases, in the corner life and death corner, you know, these are all corners, right? Then it's easy. Then look at this D case. The right way to kill is this one. That is the only way. Why well, need to connect? Well, maybe I can push, but black blocks. Why why connect? Black plays hard. Eh? That is it. Mm -hmm. So let me show you this problem, the upper upper side problem, like uh, problem B, C, D, like that. Problem B. One of my students gave me this problem, and he, he said that okay, in some I had a very nice problem in my game that happened in my game. Uh, I was black, killed. I tried to kill like this. My opponent had to connect to you know maximize my space. So I play this one, my opponent plays this, I play here. My opponent had to play this because any other move black can connect and it is that, you know, the dead form. So my opponent plays this, I cut, my opponent Atari, I blow, my opponent capture. 
I thought that I can kill this, but my opponent play here. Ah, oh. so with this under the stone, cut back. My opponent saved it, but that is a great, you know, case. So I want to show it. Yeah. That that that's the reason why he brought this. Yeah. I played this and try everything to kill, but in you know, in the end, uh, cut back situation. Okay. That is the, the case. However, uh, I said that. Oh, okay. So you tried to kill, but you couldn't. Yes, because that is the only option, but I uh, was like cut back. And I said to him that, oh, in fact, you can just kill. Now it is dead. Isn't it? White group cannot be safe. Because black can take uh, one of them like this. Right? So this is the easiest way to kill. But many people try to find a fancy solution because they are used to see many fancy cases in life and death problems. For instance, look at the C. Anyone who would like to kill this group? The problem C, wise group. P7. Sorry? P7. E7? No, P. E7, right? Hane? Is it? Yes. Okay, if I block it. Then Atari. Atari where? Uh, the four stones. Exactly. Good. Uh -huh. So when I show this problem, many people start from this. Or after this one, they are pet because they are used to see many of these. But the right way is just a time. White connects, then black can kill. White plays here, then black and Atari once and capture. Right? So easy to kill, isn't it? And look at this D problem. D problem also, if I show, then people start from this or here. But the right way to kill is just Hane. Answer here, dead. Simple, is it? Look at this A case. Can I kill this A group? C13. C13, below. B11. Exactly, uh, like that. But many people try this. They are used to it. So the second message is very simple. Uh, when you face the life and death situation in your games, then in the most of the cases, the right way or easiest way to kill is to minimize the eye space. Okay. If your opponent doesn't have big size of eye space, cannot be safe, simply. Okay. So. Uh, the problem B, Hane, Atari, connect, then it is dead. And you need to remember this shape, you know, that shape. Okay? Many people say that it is L shape, right? But I don't say this as L shape. I say, uh, I inform this as the 678 theory, 678. Now, white has six eye space. Is it? The white can get maximum six. But can white get six or white cannot get six? Black and white to make it five. White cannot get six because if white tries to make it six, then black and Hane to make it to five and kill. This is the representative shape, right? So here also, bad. So the upper side, uh, or lower left case as well, black can just push and Hane. Then this is again six, right? So it's dead. So upper side, black to kill, then black should attach. And this one stone is being you know, connected. So white has only six eye space, so it is dead. So look at the C case, and white three stones. Do you think that you can kill this? She? The white group? Uh, 
Mm -hmm. If I cut uh, Atari on the other side, R8. Mm -hmm. Like this, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. And this, that is that. Because why can I say? Yeah. But people feel in a hurry when they face this kind of case. So try to do many things like this. Yeah. Reduce it. Yeah. That is exactly the same as the, you know, the theory. Uh, so you see that all reduce. This one, you, you know this theory, right? Six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. Six is dead, seven is depends, eight is alive, yes. right? So here, look at this case. Okay, after this, is this wise group alive or dead or in between? Alive, right? It is alive. alive shape. It is alive because white has six, right? Plus eight. White's maximum ice space is eight, right? If I place again, if it is maximum eight, it is alive. Because when black tries to make it die, why can just answer to save it? Okay. But case, in this case, why comes? Why tries to save the group? So can black kill this white group? So how should black kill? Many of you play this one. When I see life in these cases, then many people play this one to kill. But why can Hane? So play here, then this is Ko. The way to kill here is Hane. And why is that? Because before Black plays here, maximize space, why can expect is seven. Why, why can make seven maximum? So if it is seven, it is in between life and death. So if black plays Hane to make it to six, then it is dead. Okay, can you understand this concept? If you grab this idea, then you can you know, success in many of life and death cases in the corner. Okay. So here, white came. Oh, let me save. I think I can. So white plays here, then how would you kill? T17. Can mm -hmm. black tenuki out here? Is it required for black to play? Exactly. Black should tenuki because mm -hmm. white is already dead. Because white has only six inside. Okay. Uh, so this kind of idea is, you know, you can apply uh, exactly with this, you know, six, seven, eight. Uh, it's six, seven, eight case comes in a straight, is it? Straight like this. But when it happens in the corner, it is like this. Six, seven, eight. Okay. So there are many. There are many uh, life and death cases we can make it uh, like here, uh, like this kind of case. Now, white uh, block in this case, okay, like this one. Okay. So here, if I block it, then can black save or not? Black can save because black has seven. Black plays the first move, then black can. If black doesn't play, why can harn it? So it is dead. So many. Attach wide extent. So black attaches and okay, he are. And then after this, okay, black went down, white blocks, and then okay. So is this black group alive? Dead. It is dead. How to kill? At, uh, T... Yes, T5. Then it is six, so it is that. So there are some life and death cases. Ah, there are some cases that happen in the game. I brought it. Uh, where is it? Uh, not this, not this. I brought so many. Here. This happened in the life and death, you know, in my previous game. Why wanted to save? So why play here? And then why blocks it? Can why can black kill this group? D18? Yes. Yes, D18. Black can play here to kill. But actually, game black played this one. 
the Y header tends to make a call. Okay. This was the call. So people feel in a hurry uh, because they see many life and this cases. So they just try to put the stone inside. But if they, you know, calm down and try to kill the group by this way, minimizing the eye space, then they can. Okay. So some more uh, very uh, interesting life in this case happened in this. Uh, okay, look at this A case. ABC. When I show this problem to European five down, six down uh, players, then they said that, ah, okay, this one, we can across a touch and cut. If I goes down, uh, if I, you know, goes down, then black can go down. So do you remember this problem? White attaches, black attaches to make the call. So why need to go down? Right, so then what is safe? We, we solve this problem, right? right? So ah, if it is not working, maybe Black should play Hane with that, you know, three-step reading. And then maybe this, and maybe this, and maybe there is a call, you know. They try to find something very fancy, but there is a way to kill. How to kill this Black's uh, white group? The way to kill is just push. D17, B15. Oh, very nice. Oh, just here. Then it is dead. Right. And look at the, the B case. But, but kill uh, this voice. sorry, just sorry. one question out here. In mm -hmm. this example, doesn't, doesn't white have D18 as an option later to increase eye space? D18 here? D18. B18. So this is B18. D18 uh, uh, here. Yeah. So then, then you see what is here. And where should black play to kill? Black will honey. honey. Yeah. Okay. So I cannot. What if I play here? And here. D18. Mm -hmm. So if you grab this idea that oh six is of course that. If you strongly believe this, then things become so easy. Yeah. So that's why, no way. And here as well, when I show the B problem, people come. Ah, okay, maybe here, maybe like this, and then maybe this, maybe here. They try many things like that, but the right way to kill is, don't even remove, below, extend, that. And then, easy, very easy to kill. You don't need to put the stone inside to kill, but just, reduce and minimize your opponent's eye space because that is the most natural way to kill. Okay. So, you know, you try to kill somebody. So, you know, using the knife or guns, you know, that is bad, right? But what if you let your opponent die in peace? That's the best way, is it? Now your opponent is dying in peace. Oh, okay, maybe it's time to go and then die. You know? So that is the way, minimize the eye space. Okay. That happens in the real games. Okay? So life in this situation, you need to play fancy moves in many cases. But when it happens in the real game, then often this one comes, okay? this way comes in corners, in corners. Okay? So you, sh you should believe that uh, the six is that, okay? that six position is the one that you need to remember. So look at the she problem. White has one eye possibility uh, in the middle. Okay? There could be one eye. So in this case also, when I show this problem, people start finding this kind of fancy moves. Okay? That, oh, maybe black can make a connection to one, you know, connection to one to another. But it's not easy. Not easy to do. Okay? So easiest way for black to kill is to minimize. So how to minimize this black's why size space? D2. D2. Mm -hmm. Wide attaches. B4. B B4, then one can capture. Oh. If I need to like, move that stone with this oh, one. Yes. I need to connect. Okay. And then I'll kill. G5. 
If you play here now, why can Hane and go down? Ah, okay. So, instead, B5. Four. Yeah, B5. Mm, just go down. Because if I play here, black can kill. If I blocks, black can play here. So it is dead because it is six. Like this. Easy, right? Uh, the go game can be easy with this kind of you know theories. So you know that uh, that six, seven, eight, you know, is dead. Uh, alive depends dead, right? Do, do you have that kind of theories in India as well? When the new go player comes, then we give this theory. In general, in Korea, in France, do you have that too? Is it common theory six, seven, eight? For the corner, I've heard that uh, like the corner, but the side. Six dies, eight lifts. You know that is like a proverb. You guys know that, right? Yeah. So when I teach ten to fifteen cues, then this is what I mentioned to them. Exactly. Okay. So what about this? Is this four alive? These are second lines, is it? Second line stones. But what about the third line stone? This is the four alive. No, looks dead. Yeah, four is dead. What about five? Could be alive. No, oh, it depends. If white plays, why can save? If black plays, why cannot? What about six? Alive? It's alive. Okay. So you know, use that theory as well. If four is dead, five is depends, six is alive. And five, if you want to save, you should play Hane down. That's the way. Yeah, like this. Okay, so you can apply this. When this happens, like this kind of situation, is this wise group okay? The two stone. It's not completely okay, right? When, when you face this case, then you wouldn't feel that I'm alive, right? Because of this, it is four. It is four case, so that's why it is unstable. But what if white has an extra move like this? It is safe, right? Because it is basically six line. It is six. Okay? So that kind of situation happens quite a lot. Uh, so you can also think in this way. Six, seven, eight, everybody knows. But it's four, five, six, people don't know. Okay? So four is not possible to save. Five depends, six is a lot. Okay? And that corner stuff, uh, when this happens in the corner, then it is six, uh, sometimes seven, sometimes eight. Okay? We can just make every single case, like uh, like here, and then link, answer, black attaches. So should white answer or not? Answer. White must answer to save it. If white doesn't play, how to kill? Uh, uh, yes. Then it is dead, okay. like this. Okay. So, so if you remember this three-step reading that you think first naively, check opponent response, and then play that move. That is the first one we studied. And the second one is, uh, what's the best way to kill the group? The six, seven, eight one. Six, seven, eight, yes. Uh, but uh, in general, the best way to kill the group is... Reduce the eye space. Yes, minimize uh, the eye space. Okay. So you see many of these kind of fancy moves, so you get used to playing these kind of moves. But in general, the, the right way to kill... Oh, where is it? <laughs> Disappeared again? Now here. The right way to kill is to minimize the eye space. Okay. So play fancy moves, but before play fancy moves, you should check this kind of options. Okay, let's minimize it. Working? Oh, it's working. Okay, let's go. But okay, let's minimize it. Not working. Then you need to put the stone inside okay, in the last moment. 
not in the first moment. Okay. So six, seven, so three step reading, six, seven, eight theory in the corner, uh, and uh, minimizing the eye space. Okay, that's three. If you uh, remember that, I'm sure that you can make this game easier. Okay, so. So this is the lecture, uh -huh. the initial lecture that I often make it, make it go easier. I hope you enjoy it and understand uh -huh. the ideas. So any questions you have regarding this lecture or topic or about go studying or anything, you know, about related to go, let me know. No. <laughs> uh, if we were to join the European batch, then what kind of time slots would we have to make for uh, ourselves? There could be a chance to reschedule because people reschedule games. Uh, but um, if you cannot follow it, then there is a membership which is called Spectator. Spectator means that you can check lectures. For instance, uh, if you give me a chance, then. Do you see the, the website? Yes. yes. Yeah, this is my website. There is an American time zone, uh, you know, case, and uh, the European time zone, European time zone, like that. And uh, you can see that there are some leaks. So let me go to the American one. Uh, let me just explain. You see that there are many leaks, A1, A2, like, you know, these, these first guys are about, uh, American six down, five down, four down, like you know, three down, like that, and then going down. There is a rating. Rating is the it's about five down, four down, three down, three down, two down, two down, like you know, one down, and you know, so on. It just goes down, and then the bottom is about twelve Q. So uh, two people goes up, two people goes down, two people stay. Uh, but it doesn't fit the Indian time, so. Uh, I don't think that you can join uh, for now, or you can reschedule, reschedule games, but you know, it's complicated because you need to check the time difference all the time. But anyway, all the, the European time should be better, right? Because uh, European, for example, 8 p.m. is something like 11 p.m. in India. Yes, 11.30? Yes. It is three and a half. Uh, eleven thirty. The game started at eleven thirty. Uh, okay. So if it is okay. Eight p.m. Then. Sorry. Wait, what are the timings for the European Yungis and Docha? Uh, European. Okay. Let me go to the European one. It is eight p.m. CEST. So there is a three and a half hour difference. So the game runs in uh, eleven thirty, uh, and in one thirty a.m. there will be the what is it? The reviews. But the thing is that you don't need to check attend the review because uh, where is it? Uh, because the season started now, so you cannot find. Uh, but reviews and the reviews will be all recorded, all recorded, so you can watch it later with the video file. Okay, it takes time. Mm -hmm. So these these are the reviews. You see that. Uh, this is the review. You click, then you can find uh, the video that you can check. Okay. There is a lag. Mm -hmm. You see that you click and you can watch the video. And uh, all the videos will be recorded, so you can check it later. So don't need to attend for the online review at 1.30 a.m. So you can check it. And if I don't cover the reviews online, then you see that there is an additional review. It is called, I make it offline format. So, you know, review it uh, myself and then later share it. Okay. So all, if you play, if you join in the league, then you play five games. All the five games will be reviewed, which is guaranteed. Okay. Hello, Ken. This is the able sports fan, the additional reviews of the so it's like that. Yeah. Okay, so like that. And there as a 
observer, you know, observer is like spectator. It, the price is, of course, you know, way less. You don't play, you don't play in the league, but you can watch all the lectures. I have about 600 lectures, you know, lecture libraries. And you see that there is a, some free lectures you can check, like technique, you know, same lecture B ago, technician and some, some lectures, okay, you can see. Uh, for instance, the lecture that I made is uh, three, no, step. So you see, three step reading, okay, three step reading. I had it and it's here, and six, seven, eight theory. Uh, you see, the six, seven, eight theory in the corner life and this. So there are lecture libraries, then you can watch it for four months, okay? four months, one season. Uh, and, okay, so you can do. So if you think that you can join the league, then after joining the league, play five games, two people go up, two people stay, two people go down, and then you face the new opponent who is around your level. And after taking 15 games of the review, you know, I check about 15 of your games, I share this report. Do you see this report? It is uh, called the personal goal report. So I analyze your game in the 11 sections, opening middle game, end game reading, intuition, technique, strategy, mind control, you know, that kind of stuff. And I give the study plan. Okay, if you have 100 of time, you should do this one, this one, this one, and some personal advice. And I analyze, you know, your style of play, whether you are the active, aggressive type player or calm or balanced. Balance is the, the good one. So I, you know, give this kind of ideas. But if you think that you cannot join due to the time difference, at least you can join the, the lectures. So, so you can just watch the reviews and lectures. So you can follow uh, the program outside of the league, but still okay, it can be worth it. So if you want to check more of my, of my uh, what is it, go, you know, free lectures. I have some free lectures in YouTube channel, Yonggu Seng Dojang. So you, you can, I recently update three of them. Okay. So if you check this lecture, how to improve at Go, then you would know how I teach and what's my theory to, to make people become stronger. Okay. And technical mechanism of Go, this one I explained about this theory, you know, three-step reading and some other uh, theories, mechanism of Go and the trendy ideas. I barely share it. You see that I share three, lectures recently, but before it was only two years ago or five years ago. So only once, uh, uh, like two or three years, I up uploaded some free lectures. So if you want to join and check the, uh, the lecture, then please take a look at the website. Okay, so any, any other question about, you know, <laughs> I mean, this kind of uh, theories, I try to find it myself. And then I believe that these are not in other area, other person's theory, because I look many games and then find those uh, myself. So uh, it'll be interesting if you can <laughs> discover them together. OK. No questions, then. We can finish it. I, I would like to make uh, this kind of lectures maybe later. Uh, maybe after some, I don't know, seasons. <laughs> It'll be great because I've never been to India and I have never, I met uh, some Indians in France, but uh, uh, he's one done okay. and two done. There are some done players in France, you know, Indian go players who is living in France, but barely know about your Go world. And I was happy to discover your Go world and keep keep studying. And I hope to see some of you in my maybe school and maybe in some tournament in the future. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. thank, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Ensign, for this. OK, thank you. And uh, see you next time. Okay. Yeah. Great lecture. This was very, very useful. Yeah.
Pleasure. Okay. So you're going to share this somewhere. I mean, the, we will put it on your channel, but it's on mainly for internal reference. If you want, mm -hmm. we don't need to put it there. We can put it on our internal drive as well. If yes, you, you can share it uh, in your website so people oh. can check it later. Sure. Okay. okay, good. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, thank you. see you next time. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Bye. Uh -huh. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye.